Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Swift series. In this video, we're going to learn about constants, and then I'm going to discuss multiple assignment in Swift. Let's get started. So right now, all the variables that we've made can be changed. Right now, I have my age variable, var age is equal to 20. If I say age is equal to 16, my new age is now 16. If I say again, age is equal to 10, my age variable keeps on changing, okay? So it started off as 20, then it was 16 over here, and now it's 10. So variables, one of the coolest properties about them is that they're mutable. They're allowed to be changed. You can update the value, you can change the value. That's the point of variables. However, what happens when you don't want that value to change? What happens when you want that value to remain constant? That's where constants come into play. To create a constant in Swift, we use the keyword known as let. So let specifies that, hey, I'm creating a variable, but actually it's not supposed to change. It's not supposed to actually be variable. I'm creating a constant instead. So let and then new age equal to 16. So now this new age variable, no matter what happens, its value cannot change. I can go ahead and try saying new age is equal to 15, try changing the value, and I'm gonna get an error over here, as you can see, cannot assign the value, new age is a let constant. So you might be wondering why would you wanna use constants? Maybe you're creating a game and you wanna keep a certain mode the same. Maybe you're creating an application and you have a variable that you don't want to change. You want that to remain the same no matter what. In that scenario, you use let. You'll notice when we make iOS applications that Xcode will give us recommendations saying that, hey, this variable you made should be actually initialized as a let because you're not changing the value anyway. Normally, it's good coding practice to initialize your variables as constants if it's true that you're not changing the value because that just makes for cleaner code. So I can go ahead and create a string. So let str is equal to hello. And now my str string will never change. Its value is always going to be hello. So that's constants in a nutshell. The second thing I want to discuss is multiple assignment. So let's say that I have um, three ages, age one, age two, and age three, and I want to store all three of those with three separate values. I could easily say var age one is equal to 10, var age two is equal to 15 or 16, var age three is equal to 12. And this works perfectly fine. But what if I told you there was a way to do this all in one line? It saves space and makes our code look much, much better. The way we can do this in one line, so I'll go ahead and remove this, is by saying var, and then in brackets, so shift nine and shift zero for the brackets, you specify the variable names. So age one, comma, age two, comma, age three. And then using an equal sign, you specify in brackets the values of these three variables specified, um, separated by commas. So again, 10, 12, 15. Fantastic. So now if I print out age one or if I print out age three, I'm going to get the respective values that I assign over here. Age one should be 10. Age three should be 15. For some reason over here. Okay, there we go. 15. Fantastic. So again, this lecture was quite short, but we covered two very important concepts. The first one is constants. Creating a constant in Swift, use the let keyword and you create it just like you created a variable, specify the variable name, specify the value. And then multiple assignment in Swift is very straightforward. You specify it whether it's a variable or their constants, then in brackets, you type in the variable name separated by commas, equal to, and then the respective values of those variables separated by commas put in the brackets. Anyways, thanks so much for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.